Every single, every single time I do an intro, I feel like it just throws you guys off. Every time that I just say, hey guys, welcome to another episode of uh, the podcast Crypto Shit Show, right? Is that what we're going to call it? Mm-hmm. Okay. And, uh, and then that's it. I feel like it throws you off. But if I don't do that, I feel like it, um, you know, it, it's all good. So, yeah, I hope, you know, I hope this time around that we can, you know, switch it up a little bit. So... Let's give this let's give this one a shot. All right, let's. No, let's I think let's, it's, it's, it, let's pretend. You know, it, yeah, let, let's pretend like right now people are listening to us, and uh, and go from there. So like uh, so like you were saying, what do you what do you guys want to talk about? I want to talk about the weather. The weather. <laughs> no, no, I don't. I don't. I, I mean, honestly, about... I mean, look, look, hold on. Let's just look at the, the topics that we were discussing already. You know, we were discussing a crypto game conference. We were talking about. Uh, the, uh, what is it like? Um, Krispy creams filled with Nutella that looks like uh, mm-hmm. poop coming out of a dog's ass. We look. We talked about donuts. We talked about pizza. More pizza. Muffin. <laughs> the muffin coin. We found that there was a muffin coin, a muffin cryptocurrency, and uh, then the Denta coin. We talked about Denta coin a little bit. What else? Just uh, then, I had to go get my pizza, so we had like five minutes where I was dead air, and then. Uh... <laughs> well, it wasn't dead air. We were talking about you. I mean, we yeah. were talking about other things that weren't at you. Mm-hmm. So it was kind of a bit of a, a crazy sound check. Uh, to a couple of hours we've had, but it's the sound check only took two hours, bro. Literally. Mm-hmm. That's well, not, we that's got not that. Bad. That's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. Have you, um, have either of you been to one of these crypto conferences before? No, have I been, no I've never been to a, a major crypto conference. I've been to crypto meetups. Have you? Oh, well, I haven't even been to any meetups or anything like that. But it's kind of one of those things where uh, I really want to go to one, but it's kind of always a difficult location to get to, and it's always too last notice before I can buy tickets. So. Just wondered if you knew what they were kind of, if you could recommend going to one or you think it's kind of for people who just have the general, you know, high uh, understanding of all of the what's going on kind of thing. Well, do you want to talk, John? Or, I mean, I got an answer. Uh, I think they're mostly like people trying to make money. Well, yeah, that's, that's trying to basically. Suck or trying to get investor, you know, it's mm-hmm. like starting businesses that are trying to. I mean, raise was, awareness was, for their company and, and get some some venture capital in. It would only interest me to listen to the speakers, like the uh, the, the the Bitcoin speakers and things like that. Really, was what I'd want to go to one for. But um, I know what it is. It's a lot of like pre ICO kind of advertising uh, chances. So yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, from the the whole thing about the crypto meetups, uh, mainly the reason I haven't like uh, gone or anything like that um even though i've had opportunities to go to it's been basically that because to me i look at it like um like any other conference you feel me like any other type of uh, industry conference or industry uh you know what i mean like i like i've been to many conferences before like um let's say uh you know a, a, a tattoo expo or uh photography whatever or wedding uh you know what i mean exposition or conference and and the thing is that it's, it's pretty much what John says. It's for the most, for the most part, it's just a lot of people shilling their products for the. That's it, and that's that's you know, to me, that's not really a big. I, I'm not interested in that because I don't want to be, I don't want to go, I don't want to go somewhere where I'm paying a lot of fucking money, just so that I can see all nine. You know, like I can see like a hundred billion um, products or or people out there trying to show me their shit product, their shit coin, their shit whatever. You know what I mean? Um, that I'm not in, remote, even remotely interested in. Mm-hmm. Um, that, that to me is like why I'm not interested in something like that. Like um, when I would see something like an Arcapulco, you know, something like, you know, what Jeff Berwick tries to do. That's something that would interest me a little more because I feel like there it's like everyone's talking about, you know, you have people like David Icke. You got people like um, what the fuck? What's this guy's name? The guy, the, the gold guy um, from the government. The hell's his name? Oh, um is it? Oh, I don't know. Is it Gary something? Oh, Gary? No. Well, 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 but anyway, but you know what I mean? Like, it's people Gary talking. Coleman? About... No, not Gary Coleman. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Gary V, Gary V. No, but anyways, uh, no, but you know, people talking about people talking about anar- you know, anarchy, talking about gold and silver, talking about crypto in the right proper way, talking about putting down the government, talking about alternatives. You know, that's the kind of conference I would be interested in. But it's actually talking about a lot of the things that I'm interested in. But when it comes to like let's say consensus, you know, the shit that they hold in New York, it's like I'm not interested in that at all. I'm not an investor. I'm not in it for the money. I'm not here to like invest in or throw, you know what I mean? I'm not here from that perspective or looking at it from that perspective. Uh, I'm not mm-hmm. here, um, you know, trying to invest my money or time in an ICO or a project like that. You know, uh, I'm not. And so to me, none of these things are very interesting. And and then when you see other crypto YouTubers or other, you know, uh, crypto personalities or whatever the fuck you want to call them, go to these conferences and and talk about these what they what they experience at these conferences. It's like, well, I'm glad I didn't go. You know what I mean? Like, there's nothing at all that's interesting, or or I don't want to hear any of these fucking people talk, or or anything mm-hmm. like that. You know what I mean? Like, why do I want to go to a conference where I'm going to listen to Craig Wright tell me that he's Satoshi, or Roger Ver tell me that Bitcoin Cash is the right coin? Or you know what I mean? I don't care. You know what I mean? And then, mm-hmm. like, when you look yeah. at who's, you know, when, when you're looking at these conferences and you see, like, Craig Wright, Roger Ver, you know, those people, and then you're like, well, I want to see Jeff Berwick, and he's not there. I want to see Charlie Lee, and he's not there. I want to see uh, Dan Larimer, and he's not there. So it's like, you know, then what the fuck is the point? You know what I mean? Like, what do I care? You know what I mean? And uh, and that's why, like, something like Anarchopoco, you know, I'm not, mm-hmm. I'm, not, I'm not throwing it out there like an advertisement or anything like that, but like, it just literally happened a few months ago. But that is the kind of conference I would be interested in. But pretty much anything else that's like a, you know, a crypto conference is not something I'm interested in because, again, it's like it's just uh, it's just money. You know what I mean? It's just like a shilling and money and investment. And, uh, and you know what I mean? It's not anything that I'm, I'm – I, I, that, I, that I'm – that I'm take, interested take, even take a breath, man. Take a breath, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> no, you know what? You know what's fucking me up? You know what's fucking me up is these headphones, honestly. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Um but yeah, yeah, go ahead, bro. Go ahead, John. Go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. No, 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 no. Thank you. You're going. I'm like, uh, like, oh my god, is he ever gonna stop? <laughs> no, it's these headphones, man. Uh, these headphones are like me sound weird. But go ahead, go ahead. You're right, bro. Thanks. Thank you for the Uh yeah, I was gonna say the the uh, consensus totally seems that way to me. The um yeah. There's one, uh, what is it, the like North American Blockchain Developers Conference, I think. That one is actually like, uh, that's like high-level developers and stuff. That one seems like the place to go if, like, if you want to hear a lot of people talk, uh, discuss like high-level like theory and stuff about it. Yeah, like theory crafting um, about what could come ahead in a way. Yeah. Uh, from what I've seen, that that seems to be the kind of the the big one for that, mm-hmm. um, at least here in the states. But yeah, but but you know, like I, I totally. Agree. But most of them, yeah, are just it's just like, it's shilling. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I totally agree with you what you were just saying there, John. Because you know, um, that makes up uh, that makes up a really good point. You know, um, at at the end of the day, like um. You know, these conferences that are just people shilling their products or their ideas or their ICO or trying to collect money or trying to collect more money or trying to sell their idea, you know, these people are really not going to go anywhere, you know. And then when you go to like a blockchain conference or you go to these other conferences that are actually people trying to do shit, you know, if they're there shilling an idea, they're just, you know, they're just, again, shilling the idea, but it's, it's like they're putting that idea to work. Or, you know, or you're looking at, you know, these other conferences that are literally, you know, of projects that are already with working products or solutions. But at the end of the day, most of these, uh, you know, products that are, are, are most of these coins or whatever, you know, that are already doing something, they're doing something. They're not at conferences. They're not wasting their time or resources at conferences. They're already out there doing their own thing. Or worst case scenario, you know, they create their own conference. Like I'm sure I wouldn't be surprised if there's like an EOS conference, you know, at some point, you know, instead of them trying to participate anywhere else. Yeah. I yeah. mean, once the places, these projects get big enough, they just start launching their own and they'll just uh, get bigger and bigger. I guess they'll be more popping up all the time. So back to crumpets or... I'm waiting for someone to add something, but um, I don't think there's anything to add. Well, uh, well, we did our synopsis on uh, do do? on uh, convention, on conferences, conventions, conference, convention.
Yeah, and we we and guess what, guys? We've been recording this whole time. So you know, now that I brought it up to your fucking attention, now I threw a monkey wrench at it because I'm that that's how that's how good I am of a host that I mm-hmm. I'm, I'm terrible. You remind everyone exactly. Mm-hmm. But it's, it's oh, another Deutsche Bank. Oh, I'm sick of hearing failure. it every day. Clients failure. <laughs> yeah, you know, all these central banks are failing everywhere. <laughs> It's only a matter of time. It's going to take a while, guys, as you guys know. I mean, I, and I know I know a lot of people think that it's just going to happen overnight or it's going to happen within a year or two. It's going to take a lot longer than that. But we're already seeing the pieces, you know, they're falling everywhere. Mm-hmm. You know, whether it's Deutsche mm-hmm. Bank or you're seeing, you know, the, the, the central banks, you know, all over the place that are scrambling. You're looking at fucking Sherman, you know, here in the U.S., you know, talking the shit that he's talking about. Like, we got to <laughs> ban Bitcoin. We got to, you know, uh, yeah, okay. Sure. Good luck with that, bro. Yeah. Uh-huh. They just uh, they don't know what they're talking about. It's it's funny. It's actually you you can look at them in a different light because they're talking about a subject they know nothing about. In some cases, it's yeah. just, uh, it is really entertaining to watch that kind of stuff. Well, especially when he's like, you know, we need to kick this in the um in the pants or whatever, like saying they need you know you know to get on top of it, but like. It's already too late. That just shows how ridiculous their statements. So. Mm. Well, yeah, it's uh, they don't really see what's going on. Or maybe I mean I, I'm not too. Well, how about this? How about this? How about this? They did not. See. I do think they are. Yeah. How about this? They did not see what, what the fuck was going on, and now they're kind of realizing it, and it's kind of like too late. Yeah, yeah. I think they've definitely got. People working on it, which know their shit, but I don't think I think them people working on it even know that it's a joke. That what they're trying to do will never work. But yeah, you know, it's just I just don't understand how there could be a way that uh, they can they can't like unless it's just a total internet outage tomorrow, which before they get the satellite stuff working on. You know, there's all these different. Uh, yeah, there's Different. nothing they can do to stop it. I mean, it's already too late. Again, just like, um, you know, when you're watching Sherman, you know, when he was talking, the things he was talking about, you know, like in the, the conference, uh, you know, uh, you could see that there was two guys behind them. And like, in my mind, I was like, man, these motherfuckers are probably trading Bitcoin right now. They're probably like, you know, like they're trying not to laugh too hard. You know, they're they're probably just checking mm-hmm. the, the block polio or whatever, you know? Yeah, it totally kind of looked that way. Like they just kept making these like kind of odd faces behind him. Yeah, I mean, for real, I'm like, just like, oh god. So I mean, that's what I think. That's where we're at, and and I mean, honestly, you know, I talk about the, the world news uh, aspect to this all the time, and you know, again, Venezuela, they banned Bitcoin, you know, over a year ago, or I want to say almost two years ago, and uh, yeah, you know, again, how's that working out? You're looking at Iran, you know, they they fucking banned Bitcoin. You're looking at a lot of places, you know, they ban- outright banned it or have gone, you know, really hard. Look at China, they banned that shit every other month. But at the end of the day, it's not doing anything. It's never going to do anything. The more you ban it, the more people are going to want to use these things. Again, look at the war on drugs or look at anything that's illegal. And uh, you can see the more illegal it is, it's like almost the easier it is to get to get it. That kind of shit. Well, and there's a whole other thing I just heard about um, yesterday. And so basically in some of these um, other countries um, I think it was in Asia that they were talking about specifically but it, it could be more um, but like there was one country where um, the government came out and made some statement about how they didn't like cryptocurrencies and then so then the population of that country they um, they all thought it was illegal like they had made it illegal um and but it turned out that there was no law they never made anything illegal like the, the people just thought it was because they said they didn't like it <laughs> it's well, yeah. crazy well i mean but yeah but that goes to show you a lot of like how how much of an influence these these fucking governments have and shit you know what i mean and how, how much of an influence these banks have and and how people again you know we even you know we're always stuck in this little echo chamber here of, uh, you know, we're always talking to each other about these things. But, you know, the minute that we kind of just step a little bit outside of our echo chamber, we realize that still that 99% of the human population on Earth has no fucking idea what any of this shit is. And, 
you know, we got to keep constantly reminding ourselves of that, you know, like how many billions of people there are out there and uh, how nobody really knows about, you know, when you when you sum every, everything up, when you sum everyone up, you know, how nobody really knows about uh, what cryptos are. It's um, it's hard to imagine, really, when it because the more you kind of get into it, you surround yourself with people that want to talk about the same subjects. And it does get to a point where you know more people that know about it than don't, in a way. So um, it, it's interesting that there is people out there which just, it's hard to remember what it was like not knowing about it now for me. That's my experience. It's, uh, I can't imagine what I was like before I knew all of this existed. Hmm. It's kind of a, took over a lot of the way I think about a lot of things. So it's, uh, even if the project itself might get attacked or some critical failure or bug might happen, uh, it still l taught me a lot of lessons about, um, like managing money and, uh, investing in the future in a, like a stable kind of assets and things like that, you know? So I've got that to think, to thank for it, I guess, in a way, because it's uh, going to improve my way of thinking a lot in the long run anyway. Yeah. I mean, again, to me, I, I you know, it's, it's really awesome that you bring up that point because I never even thought about that, but you know, now come to think of it, it's kind of hard to think of a time when we didn't know about crypto. That that goes to show you how long we've been in the crypto because as we were talking about earlier with the Bitcoin pizza and uh, you know what I mean that whole deal. I literally remember when that happened. I remember I, I remember so vividly that again I still I didn't know what the fuck Bitcoin was or any other shit, you know, but I remember when that happened because I remember watching I was watching with my girlfriend an episode of Futurama. And somewhere within that time frame of us watching that episode or whatever, um, that news came to my attention. Whether I saw it on the computer or I saw it on, uh, on, a, on a news broadcast, you know, the whole idea that someone used, you know, this stuff called Bitcoin. And they, and they, and they spent 10,000 of these coins in order to buy pizza. And the fact that, you know, how they did it, you know, where somebody sent these coins to somebody else and then that person ordered the pizza for them and how that whole thing kind of transacted and i remember even back then i was like well why the fuck you know I, this is way before i was educated on money or currency or any mm -hmm. of this shit and so i was just thinking well why the fuck would we need this you know why why would this be like even a thing you know why you know and uh as time progressed and um and i you know went through all the whole progression of uh you know, the government is, is not in our best, you know, not doing the th things in our best interest. You know, what money really was, what fiat currency is, you know, gold and silver, you know, that whole thing. And it came full circle. And then I rediscovered Bitcoin again. And I was like, holy shit. You know what I mean? Wow. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? This is a, the thing that's going to help, you know, save humanity. And, uh, and you know, that's where, you know, we are now. But I, I think, you know, a lot of us. I think most of us in this space can truly remember, not everybody, but I think a lot of us that are OGs, especially computer geeks, you know, um, like, you know, can truly honestly say they remember where they were, where they had, when they heard that news about the, the Bitcoin pizza thing, you know, the, the first time it happened. I can, I can remember, um, I mean, as long as a memory that is, I only think I heard about that after, a long time after it happened, but I can remember having... Um, I don't know. I don't know what it was. Maybe it was somewhere between like one or two dollars worth, and then uh, maybe six years ago or something like that. But uh, when they hit like two hundred and two dollars, they got to didn't they before they crashed? And uh, I think it was uh, one of my parents said, "Oh, don't you still collect them bitcoins? Mm -hmm. uh, they've just got to a hundred dollars." And I'd actually lost them and through the, comp you know, they were on a hard drive on a computer that I got rid of a long time ago. And um, I said, no, they're gone. But I, if I had them then, I would have sold them all at $200 straight right. away because I was I was younger. I didn't have any, like, mind frame. I didn't understand how it goes. So I would have dumped every single coin without a second thought because that $2 might have been, you know, uh, I don't know, maybe a couple of thousand or whatever it was. No, but yeah, dude, I mean, I, I mean, I feel you, man. I mean, when Bitcoin came out, 2007, 8, 9, you know, around that time, I remember that I was already making my major transition from, you know, leaving computers and leaving that, 
nerd, dorky lifestyle and just going into full-blown chef. You know what I mean? Full-blown. Mm-hmm. I'm an adult now. I got adult things I got to, like, live, you know, like, um, do. And um, I don't have time for, you know, video games or, like, uh, any of this stuff. And so I remember that, again, even as I heard that news, you know, about the Bitcoin purchase, you know, a few years later, I was just thinking to myself, you know, like, in re- almost reminiscing as to, like, oh, man, I guess, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, just reminiscing as to, like, you know, the you know, the computer world that I left behind. And uh, and th- mm-hmm. that's really how I was looking at it. I didn't look at it like anything else. And I was just like, ah, it is what it is. What am I going to fucking do? Um, I wasn't even thinking anything out of the ordinary out of it, you know? Um, and then, again, just fast forward to many, many years later when I got back into computers and I started getting back into this shit. And I remember, you know, getting into Bitcoin and using Bitcoin and crypto. And uh, But definitely I was, I was buying Bitcoin um, – I think the first time I bought Bitcoin ever, it was like around four, or like around four hundred bucks, give or take. Mm-hmm. And then I would buy it, you know, all the way, you know, for, as it was climbing up, you know what I mean, from four hundred to like a thousand uh, before it crashed again. But you know what I mean, like I was buying it and I was just using it to buy stuff. You know what I mean? The the reason that you know people were using it back then, you know, just to buy stuff on the dark web or what have you, you know, just pay for certain things and. And that's what I was – I didn't look at it like anything else. It was just like another currency, another whatever. And um, and then when I – you know, I would hear about – I heard about the Mt. Gox thing and I heard about – you know, first of all, I thought Mt. Gox was just like a – you know, just like an exchange or what have you. But then when I learned about what Mt. Gox stood for, which was Magic the Gathering, I was like, bro, get the fuck out of here because, again, I was around Magic the Gathering. You know, back in the day when it was all just paper cards. Do you guys know about Magic the Gathering? Yeah, sure. Yeah, oh, the, yeah. The, yeah, the trading card game. So, I mean, I was around yeah. way back when Magic the Gathering first came out. And I was playing with Magic the Gathering, you know, like only within a few years of that shit coming out. And by the time that Magic the Gathering made the move to go online and be like an online thing, at that point, I was already like away from it. And so, you know, obviously, you know... Uh, you know, Mt. Gox, you know, the whole Magic the Gathering thing, the, the, what they used in, as a currency in order to get around the whole dollar and then to get around, uh, you know what I mean, like that whole uh, taxes or whatever the fuck they were doing, they used this thing called Bitcoin. But I, was, I, I never participated in that, so I had no idea. I didn't learn about this until many, many years later when I finally figured out what Mt. Gox was. It was actually Magic the Gathering Exchange. And then, mm-hmm. uh, and then how it went, and, you know, how the whole thing went down, you know what I mean, where... You know, it was like literally Magic the Gathering and dorks and nerds were the ones that have, you know, have been part of this whole community from the fucking start, the get-go, and and and, yeah. and, and have always been part of this fucking world, and they're never going to stop being part of this world. And, uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I think, like, even John, you know, like, um, me and John especially, like, you know, we feel like we're, we're like, even though we just kind of got back into the space maybe three or four years ago, we, I, we feel like we've been around this place, you know, this space forever since the beginning because of shit like yeah. that. Yeah. It's um, it's really always interesting when you do um, meet someone new who has the same interest in Bitcoin as you do, and such a different story of how they kind of get into it their own way. It's uh, it's always it's never the same way. It's always a different uh, narrative to how it happened. Yeah, I mean, I didn't I didn't get back into I didn't get really into Bitcoin, like for ex- like how I got back into Bitcoin, like for real. And I stopped buying it. I stopped using it as a currency, but I started using it more like a like a, an investment vehicle type thing. Not an investment vehicle, but like again, I used to be a stacker, a gold and silver coin stacker. And then when mm-hmm. I realized that what Bitcoin really was, and then I started becoming a Bitcoin stacker. But again, you know, you guys know my story. I lost everything and all this other shit. But but I started but I started doing the whole Bitcoin thing in late 2016. You know, so, mm-hmm. you know, like, you know, mid to late 2016, that's when I got into Bitcoin again for reals. I, I want to say earlier than that, like, you know, middle, you know, like early, early, like around maybe this time or a little like around halfway through 2016. Mm-hmm. That's when I got seriously into it. And I started really, really getting serious into it at the beginning of 2017. And then mid, mid 2017 is when I got arrested and all that crazy shit happened. And then. Like, again, mid-2017 when the whole bull run and everything was really getting, you know, started and and everybody was going crazy and having fun. That's when I had to step away from the space because of, you know, the shit that happened to me. And then, yeah, I never really got to take full advantage. Otherwise, I'd probably be like a fucking Bitcoin billionaire right now, you know? Yeah. 
That sucks. I mean, it it's, sucks. Uh, I mean, it sucks in, in kind of like a little bit of a retrospect, but it doesn't suck because I'm so glad of where I am right now. I mean, now you know, we're, I, I have a YouTube channel. Yeah. I'm living in another country. I mean, there's just so many other things that it's like, you know what? Like, I, I had money too. I had money, you know, and, and points in my past back then. So I was thinking, you know what? Sure. Right now, you know what I mean? I'm thinking to myself, sure, I would be, I would have been very financially stable, happy, whatever. I would not have to worry about my finances, but I probably would have been very miserable. Because I was miserable when I had money, and now, you know, I'm at, I'm the happiest I've ever been in my whole life, and now I have all this knowledge and I have all this experience and all of this shit, and it's like, well, you know, now I can really take full advantage of the situation, like almost like if I've been in this space from the very, very, very beginning, like, like for example, in 2017, how many people that were in Bitcoin from the beginning sold at the top, you know what I mean? And they didn't, they didn't hodl. The only people that hodled were fucking newbies. No matter how long, mm -hmm. no matter how long you were in this space, if you fucking hodled through, you know, the bear market, you're a fucking newbie because every single other, you know, person that sold at the top that had been in this space for a long time, th this is not the first time they were waiting for this. You know, how many times, you know, they hodled through, you know, the hundred dollars, they hodled through, you know, like all these other points, you know, when, uh, when we had this situation already arise. So when we got to 20 K, they were like, holy shit. Are you kidding me? And they sold like motherfuckers. And now these are the guys of the, the whales, you know, all these whales that are around now are people that have been in this space for a very long time and they just took advantage. So at one point, if we, you know, stick with it, we'll become whales as well. And you know, that's the, that's the idea anyway, you know? Yeah. I, I mean, so. uh, it, it's a nice idea. It's hopeful, but we'll see. Yeah. I, I mean, I uh, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I think, uh, lots of different things could happen. I mean, lots of coins can get lost between now and uh, the future. So it's it's interesting to see the way things go. Uh, I'll always be interested in it because it won't always be a finished project, really. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I concur. No, but yeah, that's dude, when, but, but that's, that's when you talk. After I finish, that's when you talk. I know, right? I just gotta, I gotta gauge that better. I suck at that shit. Um, or but, uh, me, yeah. <laughs> I just had nothing. You got nothing. No, but uh, but yeah, but dude, again, <clears throat> but that already happened because uh, you know this already happened several times before because every time that we've gone through these cycles, you know, the last time around, you know, we had a bunch of coins and a bunch of projects as well. It was just less of them. There was less people and so on and so forth. But you gotta remember, like Litecoin. Uh, that's been around for a very long time. And there's like Dogecoin has been around for a long time. There's a bunch of projects that have been around for mm -hmm. a long time. And so just like this time around, there's more, you know, projects that have survived and they're going to be around for a long time and, and other new ones and, and all that shit. You know what I mean? So there's going to be plenty of opportunities for us to become whales if we stick with it and if that is our end goal. Like, for example, for me, like, yeah, I would love to be a whale, but that's not necessarily my thing. I'm, I'm trying to focus on other shit, you know, and – um and I'm also like, you know, trying to see if John or whoever the fuck out there, you know, can help me with trading or whatever. But again, like I say these things, but I don't really act upon them because I don't know. I just have other interests in other things. And, mm -hmm. you know, it, it is what it is. Uh, I totally want to be a whale. I was just thinking yesterday, I was like, oh, man, I wish I was a whale. <laughs> Could like splash around. Oh, wait, no. Uh, I mean, like, yeah, <laughs> splash around the market, you know what I mean? I, yeah, I was, you could, you yeah. could have some fun. You could have some really serious fun with some uh, super, super low um, volume, uh, you know, coins and stuff like that. You could have mm -hmm. some really uh, good fun. <laughs> Expensive fun, but good fun. Well, potentially you could you could make a lot. I mean, then, you know, if yeah, you if, if you know what you're doing, but you, you know, know how to uh, manipulate it, right? Uh, yeah, well, that's why it's only five percent that can do it, I guess. So I don't even try. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even try. I haven't got the time to uh, to get in the five percent. So uh, speaking of which, speaking of which, who's a witch? I got some. Uh, I got some whales uh, on the line. You know, just to hear what they have to say about this. Let's uh, let's uh, tune into uh, Mr. Whale, Mr. Blue Whale, Mr. Blue Whale. What do you say? Okay, mm -hmm. I agree. That's a very deep point. That's a very deep 
point. Uh, no, no we didn't hear anything. <laughs> You're not hearing the whales, man? No. Oh, no. man. I, I, that was I, weird. I have eight hours of whale sounds and I'm not hearing any. Can't hear, hear anything. You still can't hear any whales. Fuck, man. Well, hopefully our audience can hear the whales. Hopefully. <laughs> they must, they'll be enjoying it right now. But I don't know. We, you've obviously, we've still got some kinks to iron out in the uh, audio setup stuff. No, okay, so we got another whale. Here's another whale. <laughs> there we go. It's the only whale, the only whales I could find. Anyway. So, do you guys um, watch any, like, uh, a certain Game of Thrones, or, or not? Uh, no. No, no, uh, you don't, did. don't follow any. Only thing yeah. I know about Game of Thrones is that they keep leaving their fucking Starbucks and water bottles. Uh... Yeah, they left that um, that water bottle, didn't they, on the set for I the mean, last episode. who the fuck does that, bro? I mean, come on. Uh, it's crazy. I, I, think, don't, um... I don't even fucking do that, bro. And I'm a fucking, the, the fucking lowbrow YouTube channel, and they, they did it. I Wait, do what? It. They um like you know obviously when they're shooting a scene and uh, between between takes they obviously drink some water and uh, we get some makeup done and all that crazy stuff. They one of the uh, actors left a water bottle they were drinking from next to their chair so when they've got like a camera angle going around the room there's just like a plastic water bottle on the floor. Really? So, yeah, so it looks really. One bad. of the episodes. It's the last episode that was this Monday. Oh really? Mm -hmm. uh, I have to watch it. Yeah, but they've been doing that. I mean, that's already been like the okay. So like the the last like four episodes of the season, like three of those episodes, they had like uh, like a water bottle or a Starbucks thing or whatever. And so you yeah, know, I one so. yeah, one time you know people were always like you know when the first time it happened, people were like speculating up and down. Oh, uh, oh, it's product placement, or no, it's an accident, or no, they were rushing through production, or they had all these fucking theories, but. Eventually, when it happens like three times, it's like okay, yeah. And I, don't then, know. And I, I think it was just them being lazy because they rushed the last season. No, so no, much. you know what? I don't think it was lazy at all. I honestly think that the, in retrospect, since all um, all the episodes sucked and this last season sucked, that that's why they did that in order to get people talking, in order to get um, you know just yeah people just talking about it, you know, and all because again I don't, I've never watched Game of Thrones and I don't plan on watching that shit. But yet, and we're talking about it right now, so it worked. And but I do know marketing, and I do know about all that shit. So again, that's why that's why that's that's what I'm thinking. I mean, because there's, you know, what again, there could be an accident, but three times is no accident, man. You know, there's no, there's no, there's no, it's just not because it's like I'm gonna tell you right now, man. Like, uh, it just in post production, if that happened the first time, and let's just say that it also happened. Uh, you know, um, and two other, pri you know, episodes. Listen, I'm going to tell you right now, after it happened the first time, if it was truly an accident, they would have been uh, watching the other episodes before they aired. And in just in case something like that were to happen again, because again, just like you said, they were rushing, uh, you know, all this other shit. So it could have happened. And then, uh, and then once they, they, they spotted another one, they should have just uh, airbrushed it out or whatever, but they didn't do that. And it happened again. So that's why it's like, no, nah, man, you know, this shit is like 1000% you know, um, planned, you know, and put there on purpose to, because now I'm going to tell you right now, just again, just looking at it from a social perspective, from now on to the end of fucking time, people are always going to remember Game of Thrones and Starbucks and water bottles and that shit. So that shit was fucking epic marketing, epic, uh, everything, you know? So, yeah, I don't think anyone argues like the visuals or the, uh, actual, uh, special effects and things like that weren't on point because they are, but, um, they weren't. I don't know. I mean, is that no, what they no? Were I mean, they've, no. They've always been good. Oh, okay, and I okay, don't okay. think I've heard anyone criticize like the quality of the visuals because they yeah. are fantastic. But they they just made a lot of mistakes with the story towards the end, trying to rush it through. So a lot of people were very like disheartened that their favorite thing was going to end in such a rushed through way, which uh, didn't really make any sense. It was like the um, yeah, it was. It was they left that. Because obviously the whole series is about leaving clues of what's going to happen at the end. It gets people talking, but they just repli because they figured out that most of the audience know what the ending's going to be. Man, I'm going to decided... tell you. I'm going to tell you where now, bro. This is what I think because we've seen this a billion times over again. Whether we see it on SNL every week, 
you know, Saturday Night Live. We see this shit every Saturday. We see it there or we see it in other epic fails. You know, when you're looking at Seinfeld, the last episode, or you're looking at Lost, you know, the last episodes, last season, shit like that. What I really think is that, when you, again, you know, just going through Seinfeld, you know, what the fuck was Seinfeld about? It was a show about nothing. And every fucking week, you know, they would just make something up. And the same thing with Lost. You guys remember going through Lost, you know, they were just making shit up as they went along. So I wouldn't be surprised if something like uh, Game of Thrones, you know, that they, they were just kind of like making it up as they went along. You know, that's the storytelling, you know, they're just fucking telling this epic fucking story. And then um, as they got towards the end, meaning, hey, OK, we got to just have one more season. We got to put an ending to this. That's where the whole fuck up comes because how many how many times again let's go back to SNL how many times are you watch a Saturday Night Live skit and it's fucking hilarious you're fucking pissing your pants and then when they're trying to end the you know end the the skit there's no ending the ending is just like the most uh, awkward you know stiff ending possible but it doesn't matter it's just a fucking skit whatever you know you're just laughing about you know like the whole thing you don't even remember the ending that's it's not really the point it's kind of like whatever but then. When you move on to like Seinfeld, you know, Seinfeld is amazing. It was great. But then everyone always remembers that the ending just like didn't make sense. Then you're going to lost, you know, something that it was straight up. You know, they were saying, yeah, we're making this shit up as we go along every week. So by the time, you know, obviously when they got to the end, it's like, well, yeah, it's really hard to create that thing. And then, you know, now we're seeing the same exact thing with with this, because when you're looking at other shows like Breaking Bad or um, the Sup- well, the Sopranos fucked it up too. But you know, but like you know, other other epic shows. You know, they like I feel like Breaking Bad. Like their writing was phenomenal, and that's why they were able to really mm-hmm. bring a, like the whole fucking story. You know, to a, a, a great closure. And I think yeah, I agree. Yeah, I think it's a lot of a lot of writing that has to do with it. I think they just suck. It's, their- the the thing with Game of Thrones is because it was following the book series, which was fantastic, just like the Lord of the Rings series. The movies followed the books. And when they got to season, I think it was season five or six, that's when the story in the books ended. So they were kind of on level with what the original author of the story had come up with. And then they diverged ahead of the book because the guy wasn't writing the books fast enough. And that's why people are pissed off because they uh, they completely fucked it up because they changed the ending to try and fool the audience. But really, they just made it bad. That's what everyone's in uproar about. Because the the books were brilliant, so you can see the actual change season to season when they uh, go further and further away from the original writing. Yeah, it's 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 a shame. But I'm not even like the biggest fan, but I can understand why um, people are getting upset about it because I guess uh, everyone uh, everyone I know is a big fan of one at least one franchise that they like have good memories about when they were younger or used to watch as a kid and they still try and like watch a bit of it kind of thing and uh it's just one of those like people have grew up with it because it's been on for that long and now they're really mad because they screwed it up for them but tell us how you really feel john (laughs) how i really feel Uh, it is how i really how you really 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 feel how you're feeling right now yeah, John, hey. Uh, I feel all right. <laughs> Half asleep. You sound, you sound constipated, bro. You all right over there, bro? Oh, I am constipated. Oh, okay. Oh, well. nice. <laughs> that explains a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what do you think, John? You have no opinion on Game of Thrones? I mean, I don't even watch that shit. Uh, I'm, I mean... Uh, I'm a. Uh... Well, how about how about this? The, the, not your opinion on Game of Thrones, but you know I, that's why I kind of like brought up the storytelling thing. You know what I mean? Like as to like, whoa. Well, well, I, do you watch? Have you watched any of those shows? I mean. Or... Yeah, I mean, I I've watched Game of Thrones. Uh, I've watched all of it. Um, oh. And I was a pretty, you know, a decent fan, but um, uh, yeah, the last season is is pretty bad. It uh, it feels totally rushed. You know, you know what I think, though. I, actually, you know, let, now let's switch it up a little bit. You know, let's continue talking about this crazy, stupid, retarded subject. But you know, like to me, the, to me, the funniest thing about this whole thing is like, did you see those petitions that people are starting to get yeah. people to change it to change the ending to Game of Thrones, bro? Get the fuck out of here, bro! Oh God, that's yeah, yeah it's ridiculous. Just yeah. move on, like. <laughs> but people are crazy, man. If it's like the only thing they know. They're gonna go crazy about it. Yeah, 
people do get like that about TV shows. It's crazy. Well, um, like a friend of mine is a really big fan, and he described it as they were painting the Mona Lisa of television series, and then when they just got to the last line of or the last um, stroke of the paintbrush or the last few uh, you know edges or corners or whatever, they just drew. Uh, dicks all over the uh, <laughs> all over the painting and then presented it as the final product and people are like <laughs> stood there with their mouth wide open can't believe that they just fucked up like the, their favorite ever thing you know what i mean yeah it was, it was in the bag like if they could have finished it slower but over they could have got away with more years you know what i mean they had that audience on the edge fight like for every single little piece but right, they just yeah. decided to like rush it out it's crazy well, and then they turn it. It's like they turned everything on its head. Uh, like, it's, well, that's what I was. That's what I was saying earlier. So where like, it got to season six or whatever it was, and they realized the audience knew what the ending was going to be. So then they mixed everything up, yeah, creating yeah. all these plot holes that uh, so meaningless things happened earlier on in the show. Yeah, and then it's just every episode's just been baiting the audience into thinking what the fuck's going to happen next and it just gets worse and worse and worse. It's fucking terrible. Yeah, and then the last season was just a shit show of uh, like um, how can we surprise the audience Mm. um, the most but not giving any care to story or how it plays out on (laughs) a Mm -hmm. uh, symbolic level or anything. It's just yeah so I, I can understand why a lot of people are mad about it but I don't think anyone really wants to see anything end that they enjoy so much so I can also understand yeah so I mean the same thing goes I mean I, I totally agree with you because like right now that's why we're even though we're let's switch it up to Bitcoin now real quick segue mm-hmm. but yeah but just uh, right now we're seeing so many sad bears out there because the bear season's over and we're now bull season I mean what do you guys think because now let's just talk about Bitcoin for a minute and price because I think we're we're bull season already. You know, like no matter what. Uh... Well, you know, you know how I I know that we're in bull season because uh, Craig Wright is out there making all this <laughs> noise. He's now got a copyright claim on the Bitcoin white paper. Dude, that's that's the sign that we're. In. Bro, I'm telling you right now, that's fucking hilarious too that you said that because like. Uh, I was reading some, like in some, I think it was like a news publication somewhere, and it was literally saying uh, a Bitcoin inventor or founder or creator or something like Bitcoin creator, mm-hmm. Craig Wright, uh, you know, uh, files for patent, you know, Bitcoin. I'm like, oh, my God. You know what I mean? Like, bro, get out of here. And it's like, but that's, you know, the confusion. Uh, it's not idiot. a patent, just a copyright claim. Yeah, yeah, whatever the yeah. fuck he was doing. But again, dude, the whole thing is like idiotic because, you know, all he's doing is like he, he wants to lay claim to him being the creator and owner of Bitcoin. But, um, you know, all that's going to do is, like, now give the U.S. government someone to go after. I mean, like, that's all that's going to do. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't understand what, what he's doing. You know, he's just – he has to – he has to be fucking narcissistic, you know, to, to such a point where, you know, he yeah. doesn't even get what he's trying to do here. Like, he doesn't care about, like, his own, like, safety at all. Yeah. I don't understand why he's pushing, yeah. pushing for it so hard. Like – He's, crazy. he's just not a winner on either side because he's even <laughs> yeah. going to get scrutinized by the American government and all the other governments that uh, want to see uh, Bitcoin shut down. So he's just going to screw himself either way. So I don't understand what the play is, but I'm sure he'll surprise us like he always does. I mean, it's, it's going to be interesting as fuck, though. But I mean, but yeah, but I mean, we are definitely back in bull season. So, you know, just like right now, there's a lot of sour pusses about Game of Thrones. I feel like there's a lot of sour pusses out there that want. You know, Bitcoin to, to be 1,500 like spends. <laughs> That's fucking. No, no, I didn't, I'm fucking I didn't you. I'm fucking say, you. I'm fucking you. <laughs> I said 6K end of year. That's my <laughs> prediction. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. 100K. Well, um, 100K by the end of the year. Yeah, that's what you. That's what you're still sticking to the same position as last. Uh, Dude, I've been last st- I've been sticking video. to 100K for a year. For hey, two he's years not now. the only one. For over a year and a half, I've been sticking to 100K. All right. Max yeah. Kaiser's out there saying 100. K. Yeah, Max Kaiser's pretty, uh, pretty legit. That's right. Uh, 
I don't know. I don't like making any no, predictions. I, think, I mean, that. dude, if we get to 100K, we're going to fucking uh, go back. You know what I mean? Like, you know, we're going to have a – you know, once we get to 100K, that will be like the 20K. You know, at, at that point, we're going to go back to down to – from 100K, we'll probably go back down all the way to 20K or less. Hmm. Yeah, it's possible, but I just think that um, – I think it'll – I just don't – I can't – it picture it at the moment because that's just such an unbelievable number. Like I don't even know uh, well, people how we're going to get people, there. People, people never, never in their wildest dreams thought we were going to get to twenty k. You know what I mean? We we were at like, like a thousand, you know, before at the, the beginning of twenty seventeen, and we went all the way from a thousand to twenty. So, you know, right now mm-hmm. we're from we're at eight, and we're going to get from and again we're we're, we're we're you know we weren't at eight. We were wherever the fuck we were at the beginning of the year from there to a hundred k is less of a move, I think, right? I'm not a mathematician or whatever, but it's uh, it's just um, I don't know. It really just depends on if everyone's ready to jump back in. From my perspective of speaking to people who invested at the end of 2017 and got totally wrecked, uh, none of them people are ready to even think about looking at it again. Like they wouldn't even. Uh, be interested by an article that said that the price went to 100k because they uh, that stung. Yeah, but that that, run. that's uh, that's those people, you know. But there's still a bunch of people that no, never, I just yeah, I just mean, never even long, got on, got into it or even heard about it or anything like that, you know. And remember, as long as billions. people are hearing yeah. about it, then uh, there's no reason why it couldn't. There's a small percentage of them people anyway, which turn into like hodlers and people that just. Uh, yeah, I think get I think, interested in the space as well, so it's healthy. Yeah, I mean, I think we're definitely going to get to that mm. 100k because again, we're seeing governments buying buying now. You know, what I mean, it's it's totally different. It's a bunch of other <laughs> entities. You know, we're seeing these big hedge funds. You know, Fidelity. You know, they're buying tons of Bitcoin. You know, a bunch of shit like that. You know, it's it's way different. I think this time around, I think people are just more educated. I guess so. I guess it's I definitely agree. a positive incentive out there anyway. And I only, obviously, I only want it to succeed. But um, but yeah, I uh, I also want more time to buy more because I'm nah. greedy. So you know. Nah, yeah, man, I agree. I mean, for reals. I mean, I I mean, I'm happy that we're at 8k, but at the same time, I, I'm like you, bro. I'm like, fuck, man. I wish that we were it, down a little lower, you know. And yeah, I mean, uh, I I try and make as many buys as I can, like averaging in. But there is times where I do save up a little bit of spare cash where I want to find a nice spot. But really. I probably would have just done the same if uh, I'd averaged in over the weeks anyway. So it's not really uh, that important, I guess, as long as you get in there one way or another. Yeah, I mean, yeah, for sure, bro. That's what he said. As long as you get Mm -hmm. in there. As long as you get in. As long as you get in, anything can happen. That's right. But we'll see. What do you guys guys think about fucking Russia literally – Telling, asking, you know, I'm uh, lit- uh, ah, sorry, fucking uh, missed my words there. Anyways, what do you guys think about fucking the whole thing with Venezuela and Russia and like now using the petrol coin? On using, yeah, using the um, yeah, it's it, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's is you, it the petrol one or are they using? Well, something I mean, else? Uh, when I hear the story from the Venezuelan side, they they say they're going to use the petrol. When I hear from the Russian side, they say they're going to use Bitcoin or another crypto. Regardless, they're going to be using something. You know, it doesn't matter. I think mm. it might be the petrol after all because the people that are Creating the petrol is actually Russia. So, but what do you guys think, though? I mean, to me, that's like humongous fucking monster news. But no one's talking about it for obvious reasons. Yeah, it's um, it is really big news, and it's kind of something. It's one of those news headlines where people that don't know already what's going on would read it, that headline, and not be interested. You know what I mean? I I think anyway, it just kind of be yeah. Uh, the majority of people would don't. Understand. Majority of people wouldn't even know what that meant, or would even recognize it as being something different. I don't think, but it is big news, and it's nice that these kind of things do fly under the radar. You know, but I mean, and, it, and to me, it's it's like monster news because again, this is this is only the beginning. You know, we're we're starting to see many more countries, you know, starting to get around sanctions. And again, going back to what Sherman said, where he was just literally saying that. You know, the reason that <clears throat> Bitcoin and cryptos need to be banned <clears throat> is because they're going to make the dollar obsolete because they are the one thing that can get around the dollar. So, I mean, you know, what more do you need? What more yeah, exactly. Do, you know, one but, more to, go ahead. Sorry. 
it's gonna you know it's just one of these things where it's going to uh snowball just person by person slowly but it will it'll get there and it'll be before anyone even realized it got there like the internet did you know it, yeah. it'll just completely uh it, you know if there's no um disastrous event that could happen that would destroy the network in some extravagant way like black swan event then yeah but even know, in that case sailing. But it doesn't matter. Even if that were to be the case that something were to destroy the Bitcoin network, we have other cryptocurrencies, you know? So, you know, probably Bitcoin gets eliminated, then Litecoin might be the next, uh, you know, in line or who knows, you know? So it would, it, it would depend on the way that it got destroyed because obviously starting up an exact copy would just be uh, vulnerable to the exact same kind of attack. So I guess it wouldn't be as popular. No, well, I mean, by getting destroyed, I mean that somehow, in a weird way, the system got compromised. You know what I mean, you know, it can happen. You know, but there's still, you know, again, right now, you know, I've shown you guys before um, where Dash, you know, they've already, you know, they, they can send crypto without even needing a, a phone signal. You know what I mean? Like, you don't mm. even need, uh, you know, you just need a, like a radio, regular radio wave, which any electronic device can emit, and you can already send uh, crypto. So, and receive it. It's uh, it's just one of those things where it's going to completely take over to a point where um, no one can do anything about it, and people won't want to feel left out. You know, it'll just be the thing that people do, just like people take any kind of uh, uh, new smartphones. I guess people probably thought they were going to be a trend. But, yeah, it, you know. it, look, I mean, honestly, it's just like everything else. It's like Facebook and Snapchat and everything. Like, for example, you know, you remember there was a time when, you know, the only people on Facebook were cool kids. And then before you knew it, grandma was on Facebook. And, mm -hmm. you know, the same thing with Snapchat. You know what I mean? We're back when Snapchat was just for like 13-year-old girls and now grandma's on chat Snapchat. You know, so I think it's the same thing. You know, we're going to get there and this is going to happen overnight. We just got to make sure that we're on board by the time that it happens, you know, because by the time that grandma's using Bitcoin, it's too late. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. I suppose. <sighs> what, so what do you think? What's, what's making you so, so, uh, so upset, so sad, John? Nothing, just it's a lot to think about, and I really hope that uh, things will go the way that they're heading, so I can only wish and hope that there'd be nothing crazy to disrupt the inevitable movement Everything's towards fine, bro. what's going to Stop being so pessimistic. you got to be more, more optimistic, man. Everything's going to be totally fine. That's why, uh, you know, the whole crypto thing is, is it's such an awesome thing. Like, it's again, they can take one down, but they can't take everything down. It's it's a Pandora's box has already been open and it's 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 it. It's, uh, yeah. it's either it's either get rid of all technology and we're back to fucking Stone Age. Or, 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 or we're moving forward with this technology. There's no in between. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. Very true. So you know, we're, we're, no matter what, I think we're gonna be fine. You know, I don't think we're, I, I sincerely doubt we're gonna go back to the Stone Age. And uh, and if we do, hey, it is what it is. Learn how to hunt. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. No doubt. Yeah. Shout out to you. So, Give it out, show. have you guys got any plans for the rest of your day? Because it's evening where I am, and I get to wake up soon. And oh yeah. Spend what time is it Thursday. over? What time is it over there? And where where it's where are you at? Where are you at? Tell tell the whole audience out there. Eight thirty in the United Kingdom. Eight thirty what? PM. PM in the United PM. Kingdom. United Kingdom. So you guys are a kingdom that is united. I just, that's pretty cool. I guess so. Well, it's yes. okay. We're we're a bunch of states that are united. Hey, you know. But it's just, it's kind of a weird situation where we uh, gave all the countries back that, that the British Empire took over to all these independent countries. But for some reason, we've still got the Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland, which we haven't allowed to be independent for some reason. Well, apart from Scotland, but they didn't, uh, they didn't like it. So they just decided not to, but it's another story too deep. Well, and then ironically, they want to exit from the Europe. Yeah, exactly. So it's but they of... won't. But they won't let Ireland and Scotland <laughs> exit from the United Kingdom. Hmm. 
I think the yeah, whole thing is just going to eventually just fall apart. You know what I mean? Like uh, like I've said many times. I think times. so. I think, I think the whole uh, thing is just going to fall apart on itself. And uh, we're watching it now. We're literally seeing it right now. Uh, every single country is uh, becoming more nationalistic and pulling away. And uh, it's just eventually governments will be obsolete. I mean, oh, they yeah. already are obsolete, but. Yeah, I 1,000% I agree with you. You know, governments are obsolete, and they're just making themselves more apparent every day that they are obsolete. And the people are realizing this, and that's why they're rising up. And uh, we're seeing change all around the world, slowly but surely, but it's happening. Uh, there's so there's, no, more, there's no, more of us than there is of them, man. There's more of us than there is of them. And, uh, just you know, again, so slow. You know, the only thing that they can do is, like, again, you know, uh, kill us all. You know, and outside of them, you know, doing some nuclear... You know, warfare, some fucking uh, crazy, uh, what is it, disease some, or some shit like that. We'll, we'll be fine. We're gonna, we're gonna pandemic. outwin them all. And that's the thing. I think that there's too many interests involved. So even though you know there might be players out there, you know, that are like the central banks or whoever you want to call them, you know, whatever you want to call them, whoever you would think they're the bad guys, even though they might have. Um, uh, uh, you know, uh, an idea that they want to destroy everybody and kill everybody. There's other countries out there and other groups out there, you know, again, just Russia and China, but there's more than that that don't want that at all and want the complete opposite of that. So I, I really do think that 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 mentality is actually going to win out and uh, we'll be fine. I really think in the long run, we're all going to be fine. And, uh, you know, just putting our heads down and getting to work. And uh, and that's why it's something like this space is so fucking amazing and exciting because we get to be part of a, re a revolution, man. I've always been like a fucking rebel and uh, and like against government and all that bullshit. But I've always been like kind of like, uh, I don't know, very pessimistic because I always knew that the government at the end of the day and these fucking huge uh, entities that are above us, they, ha they hold the ultimate power and we have no power and they're just going to fucking stomp all over us and we can't do anything about it. But ever since I discovered, you know, this whole Bitcoin and crypto shit, I'm like, well, fuck, you know, now we actually have uh, a tool. We can actually fight back. And now, as of today, as we are literally seeing all the things that we were just talking about, all these governments either using it or fighting it or going against it and just every, all this turmoil that this thing is creating, it's like, holy shit. It makes me like just sit back and I'm like, wow, wow. Look at where we're at now that we, the people not only have the power but this power is actually being put to use and we're watching this whole thing crumble and we're we're watching this uh this power st struggle like happen right before right in front of our eyes and we're seeing the power shift and everything and like well you know right now we are the many and the and the and the powerless but really soon i mean we're we're all discovering uh simultaneously that we are the many and we are the powerful and we have the power. And uh, and these guys at the top, they know already that we have all the power. That's why they've been stripping it away from us. And they're all realizing like, oh, shit, here they come. So and we're at the gates. We're at the fucking gates right now with the pitchforks. And they cannot do anything about it. It's game over, man. We are legion. Fuck yeah, man. I mean, for reals. I mean, that's literally where we're at, man. And it's like it's, it's exciting as fuck. I mean... Talk, man. As I'm, as we, as we see everything develop, it just makes me more happy and excited. As uh, the things that are going to be coming down the pike, it's not going to be easy. But yeah, I, uh, I got some breaking news. Oh, what? What's that? Huh? In the, uh, in the chat. Nah, really? Oh, here we go. Ha! <laughs> Sweet. I think we're going to air this tomorrow. So you, when you guys are watching this, is just a day old, all right? So. Anyways, all right, U.S. Copyright Office says it does not recognize Craig Wright as Satoshi. Ah. Even uh, because, you know who Satoshi really is? It's Greenspan. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. No, anyways, who knows? <laughs> Even who? As, oh, uh, Alan you Greenspan. Oh, I said like the real. Uh -oh. oh, see, I'm telling you. See, like the government is cutting me out. The real Satoshi is Alan Greenspan. Yeah, that's uh, that was what uh, Road to Ruta. Right, right. Yeah, but who knows? Dick I, Smear. I mean, Dick <laughs> Smear. <laughs> big dick smears yeah but yeah dick like, smear <laughs> but yeah man like uh th yeah I, I mean i don't think it's i don't think it's him at all i don't think uh, the, the government the u.s government wishes they invented something like this but again they're not stupid enough to release something like this against themselves but i digress right I digress. well i mean maybe they are they did the internet right yeah you're right it did backfire right Arpa. in their face yeah you're right you're right it did that you know it did right backfire right in their face but did it did it really i don't think it backfired you know but anyways I'm high as fuck, and I'm fucking, uh, I'm going off topic here, but, 
you know, just like you know, the, the breaking news. You know, even as Bitcoin SV enjoyed a Craig Wright Satoshi bump Tuesday, the U.S. Copyright Office was hard at work dispelling notions that it officially recognized anyone as inventor of Bitcoin. Uh, the quote, as a general rule, when the Copyright Office receives an application for registration, the claimant certifies as to the truth of the statements made in the submitted materials. The Copyright Office does not investigate the truth of any statement made. The Copyright Office wrote as a press release. In a case in which a work is registered under a synonym, the Copyright Office does not investigate whether there is a probable connection between the claimant and the pseudonym author as multiple sources have already noted. All it takes to register a copyright is 55 bucks and a stable internet connection. In short, any claimant that the US government has registered right as the author of Bitcoin are suspicious, uh, yes, spurious at best. But yeah, but I mean, again, you know, right now I can fucking set a copyright claim for Coca-Cola, then my great great grandfather, you know, was the one that fucking invented Coca-Cola back in Cuba back in the day, but does that mean that they're gonna honor it? Probably not, 99.9, you know, 1 billion percent no. So it's the same fucking thing here. But anyways, we already all fucking knew that. Now we got, you know, evidence of uh, said retarded situation. But, uh, yeah, I forgot what the fuck we were talking about before that. The um, Satoshi Nakamoto claim by Craig Wright, it's just been not recognized. So that's what we were talking about. That's right. But, uh, yeah, it's a beautiful time to be alive. <laughs> <laughs> Do not recognize. He is not recognized. You are not the father of Bitcoin. <laughs> no recognize for you. Oh, so I want you to make that meme. That you are not the father of Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah, I might not the daddy. That. So yeah, but uh, yeah, but <laughs> I, I, you know, I don't know, man. I think. Uh, I think we've all, you know, we've beaten that dead horse, but like, you know, like I, I was listening to, uh, you know, beating a dead horse with the whole thing, like Bitcoin's going to change the world and Bitcoin's doing all this. But, you know, I was listening to a podcast, Joe Rogan podcast the other day, and um, and the, the, the guy on the podcast was making a really good point that, you know, at first he used to hate, you know, having to repeat himself over and over again because just thinking that like, you know, um, I don't know. It was just like people are just like, I already heard this shit over and over again. But, you know, he then realized that like, you know, man, you know, like the reason he is repeating himself over and over again is because there's countless people out there that have not heard any of this shit before. And we, we have to count, count, you know, constantly be repeating this shit over and over again. And uh, and it's not, it's an echo chamber. It's not, I mean, it is if we just keep it within ourselves, but we're not doing that. You know, we're constantly, you know, trying to get other people involved in these conversations and we we have to you know we have to be that guy we have to be that annoying guy at the end of the day you know we're the annoying guy now talking about it but we're really not you know bitcoin has already become a thing where people everyone is really kind of talking about it so if anything you know we we know we are the cool guy that actually knows about this stuff you know so yeah i'm at a point now where it's kind of like i've got associates at work that know that's what i'm interested in and if ever there's a news article like today my friend at work sat next to me read in the English newspapers that a guy bought two pizzas for 10,000 Bitcoin or whatever it was. And that was some normal guy who he knew about Bitcoin, but doesn't know how it works. And but, you know what I mean? These little things like they, they, it's been name dropped every day and people aren't like realizing kind of thing. They do know what's, uh, what's uh, around the corner, but they don't know it yet in a way. <laughs> hey, now great insight, John. I, by the way, that great insight, Spence, but like, but even more greater insight, John. <laughs> yeah, very, very. I know it was deep, huh? <laughs> Go ahead, John. It's okay. Go ahead. We're waiting on you, bro. We're waiting. We want. We want yes, some sure. wise words from the crystal crypto mystic on this subject. <laughs> uh, I'm not so wise today. <laughs> Not so wise. Why not? Maybe. What happened, bro? No, I'm just off my... It's too early for you, I think. <laughs> what time is it over yeah, there, bro? Uh, well, now it's a little past noon. A little past I can what? Give much sleep. A it... little past noon. Okay. Uh, but I didn't get much sleep last night. Ah, okay. Okay. 
Mm. Very interesting. Mm. Very interesting. I see. I well, see. I got. See, I got an actual full eight hours of sleep last night. So good for you. Mm. What about you, Spence? How's your sleep patterns? Um, I'm normally like. Uh, I feel like I'm. I've overslept if I sleep more than six hours. So it's really hard for me to get a good sleep. Okay. But um, yeah, normally six hours is a proper, a solid sleep for me, which is uh, all I want. <laughs> Oh, you know what? Well, I know how to get, I know how to wake up, John. John, so where do you see Bitcoin going from here? Let's hear your your oh, um, yeah. your TA, so brother. Well. Let's hear some of that. Let's TA. hear some TA because that's what he's been waiting for. Ah, uh, that's what we've all been well, waiting for. Any time now. <laughs> um, hmm. Hmm. It could go yeah. up or it could go down. How's that? That's great. Great insight. That's great no, insight. we're uh, we should be in the last leg of a uh, of a correction, but it's kind of going more sideways. So, little not sure what it's kind of doing right now. It's like uh, in the two hundred dollar range. Yeah. Like where's seven thousand eight hundred nine hundred? I mean, I think, I mean, yeah, yeah seventy nine hundred ish where we're at right now. Um, I don't know we're in a we're in a channel uh, in the middle of a, a channel, um, so most likely we're not going to be going any lower than like seven uh, seven thousand six hundred anytime soon, and we, uh, but we or we could go as high as like. Uh, ninety six hundred. Uh, yeah, over in the next few days or so. Um, it'll probably play around in that range for a while, and then. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm well, showing. I'm yeah, showing, it's still still showing. Uh, yeah. I'm showing people some uh, some uh, your video from a few weeks ago, from three weeks ago. Where we're, oh, yeah. we, where we're sitting. Yeah, I need to make a new video. <laughs> yeah, you do. You do, man. You do. You got to share it with everybody. Where everybody's going to be waiting on you because now we're sharing your web, your your place. What is it? Your thing with uh, all of my viewers. So all one million of my followers are going to now know who you are. But anyways, I'm showing your chart from three weeks ago where you here crazily were saying when we were at 5,575 that we were going to go crazy high. And uh, well, it seems like you were right. That's yeah, a pretty sweet call. Uh, it was. Thank you. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. I'm sure. You're, 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 hold on. Let's listen to John. Hold on. Listen. Uh, since right, hold this on. has kind of been put I in got... here, all right. Here let's we go. Let's go ahead and do that. And maybe that'll give us a clue as to what the four will look like. More of this uh, saw blade tooth action. So yeah. Anyway, let's get on to Litecoin. So oh, shit, originally, you do, you do more than I was looking at something like this, um, and we had um, that more sustained pullback uh, in the majority of the altcoins. Uh, over this last week. Or hey, look so. at that. We were at seventy-two dollars, and uh, where are we at now, guys? Where are we sitting at with Litecoin? Ninety-one, and we saw highs as high as over a hundred. Remember, just a few days ago, weeks ago. Yeah, yeah like hundred and four is the high. Yes, sir. And uh, and look at that, seventy-two dollars. And you look at that. It was a what's that channel say? We we're gonna fucking jump straight. So, up. Look at that. Um, which brought us down to this underlying trend line. And then we can get a maybe a better look at here. So they call you the mystic. Just kind of squeeze this in. So yeah, this yeah, was sometimes the get original right. trend line that was form forming before we you on had this you on the uh, huge pump. Uh, I do. <coughs> yeah. Excuse me. Way you post. No, I haven't again. posted anything there. Uh, I thought weeks. about starting that. You haven't posted anything in three weeks, brother. Start posting. I know. I need to make some videos. Slack it. More. Did uh did you see that the um the uh Brave browser uh 
Falk exists now. Oh yeah, where is it? No. Send send the link. link. Yeah, finally. It's out. So you can use it and it's pretty good. <laughs> oh yeah? Yeah, yeah. Fuck it's yeah. super fast. I already know what I'm doing later. <laughs> so give it a try. Switching fucking browsers, that's what I'm gonna fucking do. <laughs> it's it's cool as well. I think it's a lot uh the themes a lot nicer, like cleaner looking Look than that. Brave. Huh. There we go. Downloading it right now. There you go. Let's check this baby out. Hell yeah, man. So yeah. Uh, so tell me tell us tell us a little more about this. Spence. Oh, you cut out towards the end there. I guess you said tell oh, yeah, us tell about yeah. what's going on. Yeah, the center. Um it's just the um it's essentially just the Brave browser which has the bat token forked out of it, so there's none of the um uphold KYC cash out sponsorship stuff, but it's still got all the um ad blocking, tracker blocking, super super fast speed, you can put all the Chrome uh extensions on, it's super easy to uh, migrate over to and you'll be happier for it because it'll protect your privacy online and help you to avoid uh, being anywhere which can assist. So in other words, the center is literally um, what uh, Brave browser promised was, was they, were, they were supposed to be. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. So it's just a... It's almost exactly the same thing, except we haven't got the uh, bat token uh, implementation. But they have been speaking about uh, implementing a Bitcoin tipping system right. somehow. So that's one of their side projects. Well, yeah, yeah. So like, how how is the, the so the, so the center again? If if it's just like the Brave browser, then uh, what 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 is it going to use as a token or or coin or or, or, is, it, or is it not going to use its own currency or coin? It's going to no. Just... It's it's not going to distribute its own um its own blockchain. It'll just use Bitcoin uh, if they're going to use any because right, that's big... what the people. Okay, Bitcoin yeah. or maybe another currency, maybe another crypto, but but it's not going to it's going to be um like the way it's supposed to be. Yeah, I, peer to, I, I'm not peer sure. Peer-to-peer, peer-to-peer, peer, meaning that if you want to tip somebody or you want to, you know what I mean? Whatever you want to do, it's peer-to-peer. -peer. Yeah. There's no intermediary like a bank like Uphold. It's like, um, it's like uh, it, I don't know what their plans are with what kind of uh, implementation with Bitcoin they've got in the world. So what are they so using now? Gonna... What are they using for... Uh, no, they haven't, they haven't got that feature on their platform. Okay, That's okay. the only thing, which is the difference. But they obviously want... They they're thinking about implementing the same idea. Okay. But using Their whole Bitcoin. thing is creating a comment section on the internet, mm -hmm. uh, and that's the main purpose of the browser. It, it seems is the is that whole thing. Yeah. Uh, so you can comment on any web page, uh, any URL, without the moderation of the person that owns the website. So it's free yeah. speech on every website. It's like a side. <laughs> It's like a side chain, but it's not a chain. It's a side website or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So um, this looks like a like a dis like a real big disruptor, huh? Yeah, it's kind of so people can communicate with makers each other. Makers of Gab. In a oh, really? These guys are the makers of uh, Gab are the ones that did, did this. Yep. Yeah. Fuck yeah! Hey, so wait, is Gab work on Ethereum or what? No, it's it doesn't work. It's not a crypto. It's its own blockchain, or what is it? It's not no, a blockchain. No, it's just, it's, it's a, just a social media platform like Twitter or Facebook. It's a Twitter clone. It's yeah, it's a Twitter clone essentially. Okay, and but, then um, uh, but how? Do, okay, but the, the, but but the whole thing. Okay, like this free speech with uh, Gab, for example. Like uh, it can it can uh, if it's not decentralized, it could be shut down. So how is not decentralized? Well, no. I'm not sure the whole implement. There's definitely an owner and a CEO and. Everything. But obviously, he's put up with the frack that he has for so long now, and he seems to have um, avoided, uh, like, going to prison or being uh, took away from the project. And right. I think he's pretty; he knows his shit, and I don't think he's going to be caught out, to be honest. Yeah, but I mean, look at way. Julian Assange, look at Kim dot com. Why wouldn't the guy that's? I mean, I, I don't know what their plans are now, what their roadmap is for, um, you know. Yeah. Making their platform. I think they'll just try and concentrate on 
providing the tools for people that like, need them, I guess, or want them, because uh, they're in a censored environment and they need to get some real uh, news about what's going on. That's their aim, I guess. Yeah. Hmm. But um, but yeah, I I don't use the platform like I would use Twitter or anything. But uh, their comment section on every website is very interesting. So that's why I've got an account because you can just interact with the people which are visiting the same websites as you. You know. Yeah. Fuck yeah, man. I'm down. Yeah, yeah, man. So yeah, we you gotta got... go this route. We gotta yeah, go. We gotta right. go down this route. This I like the name it's the out. center. I like the name of that too. Yeah, it's cool. So, the logo kind of sucks. Yeah, oh, whatever. whatever. It's okay. It is what it is. It's funny. There's a, uh, you know, when you, um, the center, you have a new tab and you get like their stock, um, new tab page or whatever. Mm -hmm. There's, um, <laughs> there's even a comment section on that. Oh, cool. <laughs> so there's a bunch of, there's a bunch of comments people have left. Yeah, I think, uh, I think it just might... on the new tab page, it's hilarious. So let's 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 do an example. If you open the Dissenter browser and you go to uh, yeah. Jose's YouTube channel, oh Jose, yeah, then what? you could um, then you could make a comment on your YouTube channel, oh, yeah. which isn't officially on YouTube. It's just on your yeah. channel. So you know you don't even need a YouTube account to interact with you. <laughs> you know it's. Uh, it's totally taking out the, uh, the the platform away from the uh, interaction, you know. So YouTube have no power over what people can communicate with you with and you the other way around. So essentially you could discuss things there which you couldn't in your comment section. Yeah, that's cool. But uh, I'm going to look now. I've just found your YouTube homepage and... No comments on this page. No, right, so this is the center here. Right but yeah, you should uh, you should check that out. Yeah, yeah. interesting. It's just um. What are you guys another drinking? thing. Oh, I'm not drinking anything right now. I'm sad. <laughs> but um, what are you still on the coffee? Or it sounded like you opened a beer or something. <laughs> no, no so it's a I soda. So this is the dissenter. Oh wait, you guys can't see it. But you see here. Yeah, I'm showing the people in the audience here. So yeah, you mm -hmm. see the dissenter. It's like uh, they're brave. So here's brave. You see brave has the little brave lion and the triangle, whatever the the bat token. And so here we just uh, the center extension and the shields, which I'm sure are just like, there. You go, just like brave. This might, I don't know what the fuck that is. But, all right. But yeah. Um, cool. I'm going to check it out. It's awesome. Fuck yeah, man. So yeah, I made a comment on your uh, YouTube page. So you should see, you should visit your homepage on YouTube and or your channel's homepage and then see if you can read but, my comment. But I have to use the center? No, you, if you you can use the Dissenter extension for Chrome or for Brave or for um, whatever platforms it's on, or you can use the uh, the browser. You, you don't need to be. It's not exclusive one or the other. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll probably use the Dissenter. I just mean the the Dissenter. Dissenter makes it pretty easy to make the comment. But yeah, Dissenter obviously. Yeah, but it's like, why would I use an extension? You know what I mean? Like, I know I'm not collecting Brave tokens exactly, anyway. Exactly. So. so. Wow, Donnie Darko made a guest appearance on so, so cool, man. Say it again, what, huh? Donnie Darko? What? what? Donnie Darko? What about him? Donnie Darko? <laughs> Donnie Darko? Huh? i never seen that movie. <laughs> That's a pretty interesting movie. Donnie Darko? What? <clears throat> Hello from the Layer Hey guys, two. how's it going? Welcome to my channel. My name Hey, welcome. So yeah, that's that's a decent uh, browser. It's pretty awesome. I haven't had time to really dig into it properly, but uh, it's uh, it's nice that it was finally here, even though we've been talking about it since we talked about it like uh, like a month September. ago. No, no, we were talking about this September last Ooh. year. Me and uh, oh, what we when we were uh, trying to discuss about uh, 
getting rid of the the bat token because it was really bad and i saw firsthand from your experience that you couldn't actually cash out any of your bat that you'd been uh donated to yeah that blew my mind when um back that. But it was nice because a lot of people don't know that, and it's kind of yeah. Funny. I mean, I had no idea. I had like a uh, bat was such a, like I had it like up on a pedestal, and then like Jose yeah. was like, "This is horrible," and I'm like, "What are you talking about?" Yeah. Uh, and then, and then I realized I was like, "Oh, that that sucks." Uh, yeah, that that sucks. Yeah, I mean, yeah. For, yeah, I mean, we all, I mean, I was, I, I was all about Brave. I'm, I'm all, I was shilling Brave all the time, and I thought it was awesome. And then again, the whole Brave concept is, is great, but you know, when they had to, you know, comply with the rules and regulations and all that bullshit, you know, and and that's where the whole token mess came in, and they had to use the uphold, which is an intermediary, which is a bank, and and that just fucked the whole thing up, and then. It's centralized, not decentralized. So now, decentered, they just, you know, they literally solved that problem that we had, which is like not just cutting out that whole middleman like Brave should have from the beginning. And yeah. that's it. Which is what we thought. They were, that's what they sold us, you know? But then when we were using it, we we're like, well, wait a minute. This is not what they sold us or what they told exactly. us. Exactly. Yeah. Just, uh, just the old uh, switcheroo kind that's of thing. That's right. That's right. But uh, thank uh, God we got this uh, the center thing. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm going to start uh, um, transferring all my shit over, and I'm going to start using the center, and uh, I'm probably going to do a video on it. Why not? Might as well. Yeah. I am the, I am the fucking anti-brave bat guy anyway. Yeah, so, so you can finally... Uh, that's uh, right. I got my redemption right here. You can, you can dump the uh, Brave browser and move that's on right. to the your new, your new favorite. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. I might do that shit later today, actually. Yeah. <laughs> might as well. But yeah, I mean, fuck yeah, man. You know, I mean, is there any other topics we want to talk about? I think we've gone long enough, right? No, um, no, uh, nothing which has come out recently. Nothing? No more? You guys no. want to talk about English muffins and crumpets again or what? No more muffins. Can't take it anymore. <laughs> uh, and no John, more muffins. I think John's about to fall asleep by the sounds of it. He's always falling asleep. He's like yeah. snor- he's snor- Snorlax. Yep. Black. Snorlax or Similax? Which one? Uh. <laughs> oh, John, what are we going to do with you? Nothing. <laughs> yeah, absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. We're going to get you some TA, uh. man. We're going to get you. We're going to do some TA on here, man. Give, give the people what they want. Yeah. Maybe we'll next time we should that. have a big, uh, big TA section. But I, I don't do TA like TA TA like. Well, I know you give. I keep it TA. in simple. You know, I don't like using all that terminology because when I don't know it all, I like I've I'm self-taught. So, but hmm. yeah, and I don't always know how to like how to talk. You give us uh, cri- cri- crypto mystic TA, bro. There's no right TA, bro. Don't worry about it. I don't know always how to talk. I don't know. How to, I, I, I can barely put two fucking words together, and I'm fucking. I got my own YouTube channel, bro. Come on. Man, you keep cutting out. I said I can. Yeah, you do a little bit. I said I can barely fucking put two words together, and I can still. I still got a YouTube channel, so you know what I mean. What the yeah. fuck, you know? Don't, it's true. No, they definitely understand you better. <laughs> <laughs> But anyways, all right, right, guys. Well, it's been fun. It was great. It was an awesome uh, podcast. Um, I hope everyone made it through the whole podcast. I hope the whole audience listened to the whole thing and they enjoyed it. Um, uh, (laughs) Go ahead. Go ahead. What do you want to say? Say it. Say it. No, I was just going to say, yeah, if you made it through the whole thing, then you're definitely uh, braver than I would be. (laughs) It's horrible. But, uh, Yeah. yeah, thanks for listening anyway, I guess. Yeah, that that definitely. What was that? You cut out, bro. The one time you fucking speak, it cuts out. <clears throat> Thanks for listening. Yeah. <laughs> Wise words from the crypto mystic once again, dropping knowledge. Dropping knowledge. But yeah, guys, seriously, thank you so much for watching. Uh, 
If you just please let us know what you think about uh, this uh, whole scenario here, or this uh, this podcast thing we're doing. If you guys like it, uh, we're gonna continue making it, and uh, you know I, I want to continue talking about crypto and all the stuff in crypto land and crypto world, and we're trying to get everybody's perspective, and uh, and hopefully some well, someone out there in the audience, you know, um, that's listening, that uh, has been part of uh, you know listening to us for a little while, <clears throat> give us some. Um, some feedback and uh, you and, and and if you're interested, you know maybe you you might be able to come on the show and uh, share with us uh, your crypto thoughts and uh, you know crypto thoughts with a bunch of crypto thoughts, right? Yeah. And yeah, I can't do any collective way. opinions as possible. That's all yeah. we want. Yeah, man, we want an opinion from the common man, even if you don't know anything about crypto. It would be awesome to have you on and and uh, talk about all kinds of things and. Uh, and uh, just drop, you know, just educating ourselves all together at the same time. It would be awesome. So, you know, we, uh, the reason we're doing this is not just for fun and craps and giggles, but, you know, we're trying to co contribute back to the community and, uh, you know, uh, sh share our knowledge and, uh, and, 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 you know, hopefully it's entertaining and we can all learn together and have fun together and, uh, yeah, you know, mm -hmm. all that good stuff. So any, any last words, guys? Not for me. No. When do I ever? When you get your check. Yeah. <laughs> when he gets his money, <laughs> then he'll talk. I'll send you your 50 cent YouTube uh, AdSense check in three months. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'll send it to yeah. you through Ripple, okay? Okay. All right. Sweet. It's fucking awesome. All right, guys. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe. Please check out all these other videos. And, uh, yeah, check out uh, John's channel. Um, and if you want to chat with all of us, uh, please join the Discord. The links are at the bottom, and uh, you can talk to us about all kinds of stuff that you have on your mind. Uh, again, I know John wasn't like not so talkative today. He's usually a little more talkative, and uh, he, he's super into TA. So if you guys have any questions, please come into the Discord. He loves to talk about TA and talks about all, all kinds of stuff. Right, John? Yeah, yeah. I, I talk about all kinds of stuff, and yeah, and just kind of. A uh, little bit off today, but um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, he just, you know, he had his uh, his uh, pussy cat die, so you know that's why he's a little sad. Oh, it's not the it's not the best way to start the day. Yeah, but anyways, um, anyways, there's no there's no dead cats in this in this uh, episode. Just uh, if you wanted to. Yeah, my cat didn't die. I don't yeah. know what the hell you're I didn't, know, I didn't even know you had a cat, bro. But um, I got three of them. Yeah. Oh well, 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 sorry about that. I didn't mean to throw that in the universe, you know. Um, but uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, I'm gonna end this broadcast before it gets any worse. Thanks again for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys. It's a good idea. Tomorrow, <laughs> later. See ya. Bye. Bye. Crumpets and egg muffins. <laughs>